Hey guys, it's India. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another crochet braid video. I am so excited to be doing this one for you guys because we are going to be rocking straight hair. Okay, this is by Free Trust. This is the Free Trust Yaki Bounce in 16 inches in the color 1B. This is what the hair looks like straight out of the pack. It's super soft. And as you guys can see, my fingers are just gliding right through it. This hair does come pre looped, but I decided to go ahead and remove that because honestly, one loop is really just too thick I really wanted to split the hair so all I did was just remove the little loop that comes around the hair by just dragging it down and then I went ahead and separated that hair into two pieces so each little pre-looped hair I separated into two pieces so after I separated the hair I went ahead and put it on this little braid stand that I purchased from Amazon it just makes it super easy to just grab a strand of hair at a time and not have to keep separating them one by one when you're trying to install so this is the braiding pattern that I used for today's braiding pattern. I ended up doing 16 braids. Normally I do 14, but I wanted them to be smaller because this hair is straight. So it's going to be easier for you to see through the braid because the hair isn't curly. So I wanted to make sure that my hair was super flat. And as you guys can see here, I'm just taking that last braid that I have and just going ahead and looping it up into my other braids using my beater you can pick this beater up from a beauty supply store you can pick it up from amazon i linked it in my amazon storefront if you guys are looking for it check the description box for the link to that but as you can see here we're just taking the crochet beater and putting it through the braid going straight forward so this is going to allow you to not have a knot right at the front and then all i'm doing is just taking it through the back of the braid and then i'm just gonna knot it around one time so you guys can see here i knotted it one time but after i had actually filmed this part i went ahead and did it at least like two or three times just so i could make sure that it was super secure but when you look at it from the side you can see how you have the piece in the front and the piece in the back but you don't have a knot in the front so it just makes it look a little more seamless so basically i did this for all of my braids so i'm just taking the beater pushing it forward and then taking that hair and then pulling it through so that way your knot is all the way in the back and not right at the front of your head. I have another idea for how I'm going to do this next time so be sure to subscribe and stick around for my next crochet braid video because I'm going to be doing this installation a little bit different but if you guys want to do it just like this this is what I came up with for this time around just knot it two or three times in the back and you'll be good to go. So once I went ahead and did this to all of my braids, this is what it is looking like. It looks nice and smooth in the front and you guys can see how it looks like once one whole side is completed. And you do have a little bit of slipping here, but once you loop on those other pieces onto your braid, it's going to stay in place so you don't have to worry about that. So right here, we're just gonna be doing the invisible knot method. So I'm gonna have a right side part. So you can see me just going under the braid and then instead of pulling both strands of hair through, I'm only gonna pull one. So this is gonna allow you to have a knot on one side, but not on the other. In order to properly use this method, you want to make sure that you are going inward towards your part. So you can see here, I'm looping it through just one strand. And then when I fold it, the other piece over, that will mean that the part in the middle will not have a knot. And so you wanna make sure that you're going in towards your part. So when we switch sides and we start doing the next braid over, we want to make sure that we're pointing our crochet beater towards the middle of the part. And you guys can see exactly here what I mean. See, we're going into the middle so that you can make sure that the part in the middle does not have a knot. And you can go ahead and knot this hair at least three to four times because it is silky and it is straight and you do want to make sure that it stays in place. 
Now I'm only showing you guys here how to do the invisible knot method. For all the rest of the pieces, I just looped through both strands of hair three to four times around my whole head. So instead of pulling through one strand, you'll just pull through both, knot it three to four times, and then you'll be good to go. So now we are getting ready to work on my leave out. So this is what the hair looks like once everything is installed. And I'm gonna go ahead and just untwist these pieces that I have in the front. Now leave out is absolutely optional. With the method that I did in the front, you won't have any knots, so you can definitely not do the leave out. But honestly, my hair in the front has broken off from braiding my hair into these crochet braid styles and having the tight knots at the front. So I went ahead and decided to skip over that this time. So you can see I just used a little bit of heat protectant. I'm doing, I'm using my hot comb just to get my edges. And then I'm just gonna be going over with my flat iron just one time. It's gonna be up to you how many times you choose to put heat on your leave out. I personally have only done it one time um, and I've just been using edge booster to lay my edges and then, you know, maybe add a little extra to my leave out and then just tie it down at night. But it's gonna be completely up to you what you would like to do. If you wanna do leave out, no leave out, you can actually have more than I have um, in the front if you don't wanna do the invisible part on the sides and your hair is relaxed or it will stay straight even if it's natural. You can definitely have leave out in your parting area as well. So that part is going to be completely up to you. But you guys can see here what it looks like with extremely minimal leave out. And in this clip right here, I'm just going ahead and adding in a few extra pieces at the top you are gonna have to play around with this just because the hair is straight um, you want to make sure that you have enough hair at the top to cover up your cornrows so once you're done all of that you can maybe cut a few layers in if you'd like to do that and then you will have your final results so what do you guys think of this hairstyle I think it came out beautifully I'm really curious to see how long I actually end up wearing this so far it's holding up really good but definitely let me know if you guys would like to see a two week update. Um, if I leave it in three weeks, maybe I can do a three week update for you guys. Um, just to let you know how the hair is holding up, if it's matting or anything like that. So far, I have not added any product at all to this hair. So this is literally what it looks like straight out the pack installed, no product added. So these are the results. I think it came out really, really good. Definitely let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this style. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Give the video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.